We're doing a quick comparison here between the G5, G6 and the AI series and I have all of them lined up along here and let's do a quick test to see how they are. So let's have a physical look at them first. We have the G5 bullet just here which is mounted on the first one. We have the G6 bullet right here and we have the AI Pro. Now I would have had the AI bullet on this however that no longer exists within the UI lineup so we have the AI Pro which is the next one. After that we have the G5 turret ultra we have the G6 turret and then we have the AI turret. So all three of these cameras are lined up here. You can see what they look like in terms of size differences. They gradually get bigger as they go along. That being said, it's the same with the bullet series. They get slightly bigger as you go up the series themselves. For the technical specification comparison, let's jump to the three different turret versions and see how they stack up against each other. So they swing widely in terms of price. So 129, 199 and $399. They go from 2K to 4K to 4K. So the G6 and the AI turret is the 4K. We know that because they have exactly the same sensor in them. In terms of the field of view, they're all the same across the board and they're all IP66 rated. The one thing to note is the AI turret does require PoE plus as opposed to PoE and it has two-way audio built inside it as well. Whereas the G5 turret ultra and the G6 turret doesn't. They all have wall and ceiling mounting capabilities and they're both made of polycarbonate and aluminum. Again, the difference between the G5 turret ultra jumping up to the G6 and the AI is the quad core arm A53. Now there's a few other things inside the AI turret that you might be paying additional extra for. That is the micro SD card. So you have the internal recording capabilities of this. So not only does it go back to the NVR, it records locally on the device as well. You have a gigabit port as opposed to a 100 meg port and you have color night vision. So if that's a clinch point for you where you do need that within your setup, then you may be pushing towards the AI turret. Then we can take a look at the G5 and the G6 bullet and the AI Pro. Again, there's a massive swing in terms of pricing. So $129, $199 and $399. Again, we'll see a similar sort of thing. So the G5 bullet in terms of the IR distance, the G6 bullet and the AI Pro go up to 30 and 25 meters. You'll see 40 meters on there as well. That is with the AI enhancer. I will say within this review, I'm not using the AI enhancer. We're using it as it is. It has the same sensor inside it again and the same field of view across the G6 and the AI Pro. The field of view in the G5 bullet that you will see is quite restricted. The weatherproofing on the G5 bullet is IP55. IP66 on the G6 bullet and the AI Pro is IP65. They all need PoE power apart from the AI Pro with the enhancer which requires PoE plus. Again there is a two-way audio built into it so if that's a selling point for you and they all have the same mounting options so wall, ceiling and pole. In terms of the G5 bullet that's fully polycarbonate whereas the G6 and the AI Pro are polycarbonate and aluminium alloy. Again we see the jump with the G6 bullet and the AI Pro. Again, there's a few more additional selling points to the AI Pro. If you want to know about that, that's the three time optical zoom. I mentioned the two way audio already and the gigabit port built in on the back. Also, you can extend the IR distance to 40 meters, as I mentioned, and that is using the AI enhancer. Let me give a big thank you to today's video sponsor, MS Dist UK, a name you can trust in networking since 2002. In fact, they were the first to bring Ubiquiti Solutions to the UK back in 2008, setting a high standard for networking gear. MS Distribution makes it easy to find exactly what you need without any hassle, offering a carefully selected range of wireless networking and security products. They offer competitive prices, including special rates for their trade customers. If you need any help picking the right gear, their team of experienced networking pros are always on hand to help. And if you order before 4.30pm, they've got your back with fast, reliable next day delivery shipping across most of the UK. With a strong focus on customer satisfaction, MS Distribution has built a reputation for high quality products, quick delivery and top-notch service. Whether you're upgrading your home or rolling out a business network, they have you covered. You can register your interest now with MS Dist when these products become available. Let's now take a look at the day and night images across all six cameras. So we're comparing three and three. We'll do the two bullets and the pro and then we'll do the three turrets. Now all the daytime images are taken at exactly the same time, so it's exactly the same footage. We don't need to worry about any IR emitters. So we've got this image right here. So we'll start off with this. In the top left, we have the G6 bullet, the top right, the G5 bullet, and the bottom is the AI Pro. And you'll see right here, the car's reversing straight in. This is just an image comparison. We'll cover detections a little bit later. And you can see all three images are actually fairly clear. The bullet and the AI Pro does have a slightly wider angle, 
but all three generally pick up the image quite well. If I was to make a pick between them, so this is actually me walking down from the back of the drive, so if I was actually to make a pick between them, I would probably say the grass is a little bit greener on the G5 Bullet and the AI Pro, as opposed to the G6 Bullet. But I will also add it at this point that all these settings are standard out of box. I haven't made any changes whatsoever. So this is what comes as is. Now this nighttime footage is three individual recordings of this footage because we can't keep them going at the same time. So they're all different. You'll see them coming, they will look slightly different, but I've tried to sync them up the best that I can. You can see we get a quick glance at the number plate right there on the G6 bullet and the G5 bullet and the AI Pro just as the car enters in onto the block paving. And then again, you'll see me at the back right here walking onto the drive. So the G6 bullet seems to be a little bit brighter, but also the AI Pro does seem to do a good job picking up the person as well. Now I'm just gonna freeze frame here for just a second and I wanna show you what it looks like, the differences between the images. So we can see the G6 is slightly sharper in terms of detail over the AI Pro and the G5 Bullet doesn't do a bad job either. Then we move to the turret, the turret ultra and the AI turret. Again, all three images look very good. If I was to take a pick of this one, I would say the AI turret is slightly more brighter. Again, this can probably be tweaked across all three cameras with a little bit of tuning with the images, but these are standard out of box as they are. So again, me walking from the back, daytime, I don't think any of these cameras are gonna be any issue at all. You can see everything quite well, quite clearly what's going on. We then have the nighttime now. This is where you can see the G5 turret ultra probably struggles a little bit at the back. Even the G6 and the AI turret, it does seem to struggle when it's right the way back. That's about 30 to 35 meters away. But as you would expect, as the car comes closer, it becomes a little bit more legible in terms of the number plate. So there we can see it across all three cameras right there. The G5 turret ultra does flick the IR sensor off a little bit quicker. But um, yeah, it's, it, that's probably just a sensitivity setting. Again, we'll do another freeze frame and we can see the AI turret and the G6 both have very good clarity on them. Then again, the G5 bullet doesn't do a bad job either as well. Looking at all six of those cameras, you can see that the G5 and the G6 series, you can see the difference in the sensors between them, but there are some cam comparisons between the G5 and the AI cameras as well. That 4K sensor does make it a little bit more sharper in terms of the image and you can see that. Feel free to scroll back and have a quick look and pause wherever you need to if you wanna see anything in a bit more detail. One of the big questions I had when I previously released this video is, well, how do the detection stand up against each of the different cameras? So we'll go through the similar sort of setup that we saw with the three different cameras. That was just a straightforward footage. I'm gonna scrub through this. I was trying to think how to actually present this to you, what would be the best way. But I think if I scrub through this, we can take a look at each of them and see how we get on. So we're starting straight in with the G6 Bullet, the G5 Bullet and the AI Pro. And we can see the car actually in the top left-hand corner as that starts coming in. AI detections have been picked up on the car. So this is approximately about 30 meters away at this point. And it is daytime, so it's picked up quite well. And it's picked up that it's a black car and it's an SUV. So then the car then reverses onto the drive and we can see the AI Pro has picked up the number plate and we will come to the AI key shortly because that's where the enhancements actually kick in on the other side. So we have the so we have the AI key which actually shows the number plate pickup. And then we bring the car back into the drive and then it disappears. So we then move again to the walking test and you can see all three of these cameras at the back have picked up a person or it's highlighted a figure. It's not given a percentage. It's not quite sure what it is yet. It's actually the G5 bullet that's actually picked up that there's a human first and the other two are still thinking about it. And then you'll see the other two are very quickly after. But in terms of the percentages, we know the G6 and the AI Pro are slightly higher. Very few percent points in the way, but that's what it is. That's what we're seeing right here. And as we come closer, we'll see the G6 has just about picked up a face. And I think in the next frame, yep, you'll see it right there. In the next frame, the AI Pro also picks up that there's a face detection there as well. We'll move to the night vision now. And as I've mentioned earlier, if you are watching at this specific point, I have recorded these individually. So I've tried to sync them up the best way I can just to make sure there is no IR bleed from any other camera. And you can see at the back, the AI Pro has picked something up and it's picked it up again. So, and also the G6 bullet has picked it up. The G5 hasn't picked anything up yet. In the next frame, it did just pick that up. So we'll continue along. 
and the G6 still knows about it. And we'll see we're halfway on the drive or we're, we're getting onto the drive now. The AI Pro has picked up the car already. And if we come down, the G5 bullet has picked it up, but the G6 actually didn't pick up anything at this point. Now, that doesn't mean that it's not detected it. Everything on this is selected and highlighted. So we do have everything selected in terms of vehicle, vehicle type, person, face, license plate. It's, everything is ticked. It's just what's been picked up as I've done the recording and played back the footage. We'll move on to the final walking test and we can see there's a small figure at the back of the drive on each of these. And we can scrub through this right now and we can see where does it pick something up. So we have the G, we literally have the G6 and the AI pretty much pick up in the same sort of frame a couple of frames along the g5 bullet then picks it up as well. it seems like the g6 bullet did pick up a face i'm sure if i had continued looking at the ai pro it probably would have picked up another face as well but the g6 bullet did pick that one up we'll quickly scrub through the g6 turret g5 turret and ai turret again you'll see the three cars coming in the back there's a slight disadvantage to this one in terms of the g6 turret and i'll highlight this one out i did already scrub through the footage so it's already picked up the number plate um, it has learnt it, so whenever the car came into the frame, it automatically tagged the number plate to it because it had already picked it up. So you'll see that they have all been picked up as they come onto the drive. And then about halfway down the drive is when the AI turret picks up the number plate of the car itself. So I'd imagine the G6 turret would be doing something similar. And there we go, that's the image of that. And then we have, again, the walking. So both the G6 and the AI turret camera has picked up a person there, but the G5, there you go. The G5 has just kicked in just now. And if we come all the way down, and if we look when they pick up a person, they're pretty much at the same point. It's picked up that there's a human there. And if we come all the way down, we'll see when it picks up a face. And I think that is, again, the G5. The G6 is just literally one frame ahead that it picks up. A person so we'll continue going down and, and that's picked it up so the g6 turret is picked up as 82 percent but the ai turret is picked up as 90 percent if that makes any difference to anybody or 83 and 93 we then move to the night time so we can see actually the g6 the g6 and g5 turret has actually already picked up um that there's something out something at the back but the ai turret hasn't yet and again, in the next frame, it picks it up straight away anyway, um, that there's something there. And we can see the car reversing onto the drive. So it's tried to attempt to pick up a number plate here of the AI turret. Um, it's AF6B, which is not quite, so it's actually AF68. So it's not quite there in terms of the pickup. Um, we saw the G5 flick the IR mode off. Um, there's no driveway lights. I've turned off the driveway lights to make sure there's no impact to the results. And then we'll move straight to the final test, which is the walking down the drive. So again, all three cameras we can see, and I think it's probably about halfway again down the drive. So this is probably about 15 meters away at this point. Uh, it's picked up that there's something or someone there. And as we come a bit closer, the G5 turret also kicks in. So if we just kick play here, and we'll see the person moving along. That also picks up, so I don't know if you saw that, both of those, we had the, I'll scroll back ever so slightly. Well, there we go. We have the AI turret that's picked up a person, 90%, and then we have 83% on the G6 turret. Next, let's take a look at some of the audio of each individual camera, and we go through them one by one. I haven't done any editing at all to these audio settings, so you can hear it as it would be on the camera itself. So you might need to turn your volume up a little bit. This is an audio test standing about two meters away. This is an audio test standing about five meters away. This is an audio test standing about two meters away. This is an audio test standing about five meters away. This is an audio test standing about two meters away. This is an audio test standing about five meters away. This is an audio test standing about two meters away. This is an audio test standing about five meters away. This is an audio test standing about two meters away. This is an audio test standing about five meters away. This is an audio test standing about two meters away. This is an audio test standing about five meters away. We'll start by looking at the settings of some of the cameras right here. So we'll have a look at the AR turret and pretty much everything is the same across the cameras. There's not really too much different other than the internal recording on the AI turret. And you'll see right here that in terms of vehicle detections or AI events, 
We have animal, face, license plate, person, vehicle, so we can go and save that and apply those. But if we go to the G6 bullet, for example, and we have a quick look here, you click on here and we'll see face and license plate. Now, these are appearing here because of the AI key. These smart detections generally are not available on these cameras, so you would only see animal, person, and vehicle. But we'll go a little bit further into the AI key itself and we click on settings and you can see down here everything that's selected. So if we want computer vision enhancement, we can go and we can select it for all of them. So let's select all and we'll click save. Same with the same with the speech to text. So we can do speech to text license plate recognition. So if that's not available on some of the cameras, it can be now. And same again with facial recognition. This is where the G5 and the G6 turret comes in also as well. And we can see some of these appear within the AI key. Let's see what's been picked up on the AI key. And we've jumped straight in and I've selected the six cameras that we had. And you can choose various different things that have been happening on the AI key. So if you want to pick for a specific person, for example, you can go face detected. And you can see right here, you can see there's a whole bunch of faces across different cameras. G6, AI turret. They weren't all on at the same time, but even the G5 bullet... These are just predominantly me, so G5 Turret Ultra. So you can see that it has picked up a wide range. Now you can also use to search. I've done some searches already. So if I look for a man wearing black jacket and if we hit enter, you can see again, it's picked up a whole range of people on here that while it's been running. And also if I search for like person wearing hoodie, for example, you can see I pop up on here multiple times as well. The other good thing on here is the audio transcription. So if you want to see when something has been done, so we have the G6, the AR turret, the AR Pro, if there is some sort of transcription or even the G5 turret, you can go on here, you can click on it, and you can see the transcription now on the right hand side. One final comparison that I'm going to show you right now is the comparison at the edge of the driveway. So the edge of the drive is probably a bit of a distance away. It's probably about 20 plus meters away, but I want to show you what these cameras can do at that distance. Now, possibly something like this, you would want to use the optical zoom on the AI Pro, or you'd want to use something like the AI DSLR or the G4 PTZ with the higher optical zoom. This is going to be useful for some and not useful for others. So. Let's take a look at the images right here and we have the Pro at the top with the G6 bullet and then the G5 bullet. So you can see the clarity on the daytime, all three of them look very good in terms of what you can see. And at night time, it's quite far and you can see that you can make out the vehicle, but nothing much more than that. And then looking at the turret, so the AI turret, the G6 turret and the G5 turret ultra, we have a similar sort of concept, daytime, no issues reading it at all. You can even pick up the license plate or you can read the license plate from there. And then at nighttime, you see the AI turret picks up the license plate ever so slightly. Now that could be down to the angle of where the car is and also the G6 turret, you're starting to make out some letters there. So it could be the angle that the car is coming in at or it's managed to actually pick up the license plate of the car. In terms of facial recognition, I mean, this is quite a distance away again, but I wanna show you what sort of figure you can see at that sort of distance. Again, daytime, no issues at all. You can see all three there are highlighted and we take a look at the nighttime and it looks like the G6 bullet probably has the most clear image out of all of them. You can't make out anything of it, but you can make out that there's a person there. The AI Pro also does a good job. It does, you can make out the figure quite clearly, whereas the G5 bullet, it's a bit grainy and you can't see what really is going on there. For the AI turret, the G6 turret and the G5 turret ultra, similar sort of story. The AI turret comes out on top on this one. The G6, you can make it out a little bit, but there's still a bit of graininess there. And the G5 turret ultra, you can make out some things there because I know that I'm there, but generally it's not something you would pick up quite easily. Now comes the crunch time. Well, which camera do you buy? G5, G6 or AI? For me personally, I really like the G6 image. I think it's sharp, I think it's clear. And for $199, it's really good value for money. What you need to ask yourself is, are you gonna be using those AI features? Do you need the optical zoom? Do you need the two-way audio? Do you need the color night vision? Or do you need the on-camera recording? There may be some requirements that you need to meet which pushes you to those AI models. And if there's no issue in the budget, you might as well go to the AI series. But I wanna know what your thoughts are on these cameras and which one would you buy? Let me know down in the comments below. The links are all in the description as well. For now, this is Inside Wire, and I'll see you in the next one.